Oh, a beautiful day, beautiful river. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. It looks like it's been about a month. Uh, the weather's been really bad. The last video about, uh, I don't know how many videos back it was where I left off here. And this is sandstone. And just look at the size of that structure. And you know, it had a cape over it. I, I, in that video, I explained how it, it was all, there was a cape over all this. And when they put the railroad in, they had to bust it open and that's what's inside. Um, you can see how it's really different up there. Totally different here, that big old square block right there and the ones underneath it compared to the size of that vehicle. So, and this is sandstone. So, you know, it just didn't, <laughs> it just didn't happen by chance and get this design. So, but I, want, I left off here in that video and I was gonna show you some other stuff up another uh, head wall and that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna show you this cape I'm talking about over here real quick. Oh, I'm trying not to make this real long. But if you were here, you'd see the seams, how that just comes, rolls over and rolls over and rolls over, over in there. And that would have been the same here, hiding all that, you'd have never known what was inside it. And this is biology. This just didn't happen by chance and all that, you know, like geologists is claiming by millions and billions of years. But look at that in there. Look how that just, you can see three of the seams right there. One, two, yeah. Four counting the one way up there, but it just comes over like that, just drapes over it. So that's what that would have been on the outside of this all right here. Okay, so I'm gonna head you up to another head wall and show you some stuff. I mean, this, if you were standing here, you'd, you'd be in awe. I mean, this is just fascinating, this design and how it's different than it is down below there. I mean, this thing is overwhelming. And you know, how it formed, it's, it's biological, it just didn't, you know, like I was saying. So I'm gonna head up, way up the road up here to another canyon and show you some stuff I just re, uh, noticed the other day and I got the drone. So that, look at that protruding out right there. All right. Ever ask yourself why there's so much sand and sandstone on the earth? I've shown so much sandstone in my videos of different type structures, different types. It's mind blowing. Plus all the sand in the deserts and the beaches. Well, what you got is a molecular exchange going on in the mud fossilization process. And you have things converting to a silicone di dioxide. Whew, out of breath. And the skin erodes down because it's sand and really dense and silicon. And so it becomes silicon dioxide. I believe a lot of the things I'm dealing with now, these big structures, I've been showing you as they're on such a scale because of the size of these creatures, carcasses, that it has something to do with the collagens and the way it's transitioning in the molecular exchange. And it's giving me a lot of stuff with sand and sandstone. And I believe that's what's going on because there's I believe there's 28 types of collagen, and then we're not even talking about the ker keratins. And so, look at this. Eh, probably not a great place to be standing, what do you think? That's how fools die. <laughs> fools like me. But, this is sandstone. I'm right up, hugged up and get tight against it, I know. Cause I gotta get around this stuff. Pretty steep. Get over here. Oh. And uh, 
but you know like I've showed you no one knows what's underneath these mountains they have you know their inklings but I'll tell you geology is way off especially on their sedimentary deposits their sandstone even sand and I've read what they think it's from and on and on and they're wrong man there is wrong but this is helping me understand what I'm dealing with as far as the collagens are transitioning to like silicates or silicons or you know silicon dioxide on and on things like that no real real grainy sandstony stuff and different types and that would happen with that molecular exchange and that transition process so I'm gonna get down out of here and show you some other stuff remember this is all sandstone I'm showing you in this video and I've shown you lots of other sandstone so just keep that in mind Ah. All right, pretty blue sky behind it. It probably looks about the same from the other side. I'm not gonna crawl up in there from the right. You can pretty much see what it is, but the rest is all buried. You know, eroded off, whatever. Right. Yeah, like I was saying, we have so much sandstone and sand on this planet of ours that oh it's over the top you can, more than you can shake a stick at where did it all come from i don't care if it's eroded down what did it erode down from see my point where did what all the sandstone come from where did all the sand come from how did it form what was it before and please don't tell me it was igneous intrusive basalt or extrusive basalt oh, oh don't even go there <laughs> sorry but some people ah and just eroded down into sandstone <laughs> yeah right take them away folks take them away <laughs> whoa a little slickery there i'll try to get up here and see what you can see from the side Not much. Covered with moss and I have you got all this in here. These big pieces. Look at the layers, you know. Well it gets hardened in layers like that and just separate on its own and all right. Now, all this sandstone that I'm showing you in this video is all within two miles of it, each other. So, keep that in mind. Okay, I'm headed to the spot. They're working on this bridge here. I have, they're not today, so I'm able to get in here. I've shown this before. I just wanted to show it real quick before I head up this draw. You've seen the pattern we just came from, that big, huge square blocks and stuff. Sandstone. This is only about a mile away. Look at this. Okay. Now freeze your phone or your camera or whatever and just look at the distinct patterns in here. Especially like right up in there, the way those blocks are, I don't know, got three on that side, got that row on that side, those ones right there. And it's got a distinct pattern, okay? This is sandstone. The stuff I just showed you was sandstone, okay? And then we're going to go up here, up this draw, because I, I want to show you what's on the other side of this, okay? And then look at that over there. The way those are laying in layers in there and round, you know, this is not by chance, okay? I've shown this before, yes, but I'm getting to something here because now we're going to head up this draw and I'm going to show you something I just discovered the other day and I got the drone. I don't think they're tendon fibrils. Uh, to me, it looks like it's sandstone as well. I'm almost positive it's sandstone. I haven't had a chance to get out really lately because the weather's been so bad, so that's why no videos. We've had storm after storm. I'm trying to get back down to the coast and do some stuff down there. 
But this is when you if you're standing here just looking at this and you get up close to it and see what's actually embedded in it and stuff. I mean these big old round red circles up in there and stuff. Um, it's, <laughs> you, it's obvious that it's not just by chance and it's obvious it's not geological or a sedimentary deposit or so you know never a liquid or anything. Where did all the sandstone come from, by the way? Where did it all come from? Where did all the sandstone come from to create this stuff? Huh? That's what, where did it all come from? Why is so much sand on the earth? Ask yourself that. Why is there so much sand and where did all the sand come from? Anyway, so, yeah, look at that up in there. This is 100% biological. I've looked at this and looked at this and the patterns in here are absolutely phenomenal, especially up in there. So now we're gonna head on up this draw and get the drone out and I'll show you what I found. It's sticking out like a sore thumb now. I noticed the other day. Okay, this is what I noticed the other day. I don't know why I've never noticed this. These are layers in there. You can see, the, I'm going to get the drone out. I don't think they're tendon fibrils. I'm positive. I'm almost positive. Well, I'm not positive, though, that sandstone. But it comes up against this shelf right here, and then it's got these layers laying in there like this. Okay? So I'm going to get the drone out and fly that. Um, it's kind of hard to see from here. But remember the shapes I've just showed you, especially those big square ones, and then we come into stuff like this. And it's not all that way, that's different than this right here. All right. <laughs> 